All right, here we are with an update on the 4 liter XJ uh, 1988. You can see that the intake seats are done, all three angles, very, very pretty. All of them are done. Uh, I was going to start on the exhaust, but for the small size cutter, um, uses the smaller diameter pilots. The problem was, you see that key, that um, keeper on there, what do they call it, E-clip? It doesn't go down far enough with that one. And this one goes all the way and bottoms out. And so it's a little, it wiggles a little and you don't want that to cut the seats. You want to keep the seats concentric, you can't have that. So I had to order one. It's about 25 bucks shipped, and it's going to be um, a thousandth of an inch bigger in diameter than this one, and it'll fit really well. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that has to be done, and I inherited this, and it's got the living hell. Look at the look at the profile of that tooth there. You see, it's just absolutely ground into smithereens <clears throat> you grab another one that's a lot older but used properly and you can see that that is straight as an arrow the surface of that so I'm going to swap these out onto that one <clears throat> and that'll, that'll make the exhaust uh, tooling ready to go but anyway hopefully you can see the intakes looking really good the glare is a little high, but I can't do much about that. So, anyway, all the intakes are done. The other thing I did was I put a uh, larger pilot shaft, like one of these older ones here, and I stuck it in the um, grinder and then put the dial indicator on it. And the farther in you go, the more accurate it gets. So, what I learned from that <clears throat> was that my valves were off a little bit. The specification is the run out, which is the face here moving in and out, is not more than 1.5 thou. And mine were all three, three and a half thou. So I had to regrind every single valve, but I barely had to touch them. And now they're between a quarter of a thou and 1.5. So they're all within spec now. And uh, that's what you want, nice and concentric. So they seal better, longer, blah, blah, blah. So those all got reground and taken and exhaust. Today, I uh, had some neighbors over that helped me a lot. We got to use <coughs> these uh, Rolock discs um, for, for cutting and grinding, whatever the hell you need done. The flaw with it is, is it, um, it pukes a lot of material. Yeah, now, see the middle of this is actually still pretty good. The edge got contaminated with junk, but that did the whole entire pan gasket. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look. The whole entire, I mean, look, it's obviously shiny as heck. <clears throat> see that? It's gorgeous. So, that corner might need a little touching up, but uh, anyway, so the pan's done. You can see the dust all over the floor over here. So here's the flaw. I asked the same guy to go underneath the Jeep and do the, and do the engine, the, the bottom of the block, and there's just like no room. Um, I was having him use my uh, air drill because the die grinder seized up and I was trying to take it apart and I thought the part I was unscrewing was metal and it turned out to be plastic so I ended up crushing it. <clears throat> well, this has enough speed the problem is it's a lot bigger in size and when you got axles and bars and lines and shit everywhere you can't do that so he's gonna come back tomorrow <clears throat> we'll see if we can get a you know some of these you know scrapers and hammers and stuff see if we can get some of it taken off. Um, it's a real pain in the butt. This gasket's the worst 
engine gasket I've ever dealt with in 40 years of working on engines. <clears throat> so anyway, the pan uh, gasket surface is clean. We gotta wipe it all out and clean it up and stuff. Um, but that'll happen after the block gets done. And then we'll be ready to reassemble the bottom end. <clears throat> and absolutely nothing's changed here. Got the original ancient single port freaking injectors that need to get replaced. I gotta do that motor mount. Maybe I'll have him do that tomorrow too. <clears throat> get this motor mount replaced. We have that in house. And uh, anyway, so once the tool gets in, sometime in the next uh, week, I'll be able to get the head done. <clears throat> and then once the head's done, I need to sand this, hold on here, come here you stupid light. Sand that surface down because it leaked a little bit with a new gasket on it. Sand it down really good. Put some sealer on both sides of it and, and try that again. And then um, we'll take and connect the intake and exhaust back on here. And um, we'll drop the whole thing in one unit, one piece. And I think that would be really good. <clears throat> There's the intake. Doesn't need a lot of work. I'll clean the uh, the ports up for the uh, fuel injectors and stuff. Make sure they're nice and sterile inside. And uh, we're getting there. It's slow, it's sure. Um, I need to take a wire brush and polish up those cracks we talked about before, and then take it down and get it and see if we can get it welded. Uh, something I forgot about that would have helped him scrape the pan gasket today, especially that long scraper. I handed him two other razor blade scrapers, but getting around some of the lines and stuff that long when he said would have helped if he'd known, and I said, yeah, if I'd have known too, because I forgot. <clears throat> anyway, um, these roll locks are awesome, 30 bucks shipped, plus the tool came with it. Um, well, I had to pay extra for it, but about 30 bucks total. I know the professionals use this stuff all the time because you can't spend three days just doing a gasket. You got to get it done. Some guys will spray, uh, you know, brake cleaner on the inside of their engine to clean all the dust out and shit. But I'm, I'm going to try to avoid that like the plague, big time. Well, it rained. It's uh, kind of snowy, cold out today. We got a lot done. Made a damn mess of everything. But uh, I'm happy we got that. I gave him some time, I, you know, he's never used the roll lock discs, and uh, he tried it on the pan, he's real familiar with it now, we'll see what he learns, you know, even if I have to, if he has to spend some hours underneath there uh, doing it, then that's okay. The, it's a felt pro gasket that goes on, you can reuse it, <clears throat> a lot easier to take apart. This thing, this gasket's original, 30, uh, 30 years old. And it's the hardest gasket I've ever, you know, you guys heard me say this before. I found a couple of videos where guys tore the oil pans off using a chain and another vehicle because they're stuck so bad. And that's not BS. It's really unbelievable. I'm just, don't, I'm not on a schedule. If I had to drive this thing every day to work, I'd be out of a job already. So anyway, um, that's the update. Uh, yeah, I could um and ah a lot, but we won't today. That's it for now. See you, bye.